Have you ever seen one of those videos that shows a team of robots moving in a coordinated way? Probably, right? But what if each robot has a special task to accomplish or a different objective function to minimize? All the team of robots would do that in agreement. And what happens if there's some functions or more important than other for particular agents? How the team of agents will manage that? This is what this presentation is about. Today, I will present an algorithm for multi-objective, multi-agent optimization for, for problems with many objective functions of different importance. I'm Maud Blondin, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Florida in the Department of Mechanical Aerospace Engineering. The goal of this presentation is to explain a new distributed algorithm that allows the exploration of the Pareto front. Here we have a team of agents in which each agent has an objective function to minimize. The agents have to agree on a common solution. One can think about minimizing the sum of these objective functions. That would work. In fact, optimizing the sum of these objective functions is the most common approach. This may seem a natural approach, but computing the sum implicitly carries a decision about the problem formulation. Indeed, the sum of objective functions represents a special case of multi-objective problem in which all the objectives are prioritized equally. Here we have the Pareto front. The red dot on the curve is the solution where the agents minimize the sum of objective function. However, which is great with the Pareto front is that other solutions optimal in different senses are available. For instance, if F2 is very important, we may want to increase its priority. By doing that, F1 value would be a little bit will get a little bit higher. It's not difficult to envision cases in which they are objective with different importance. For example, teams of robots may want to explore different regions of an area, or agents may have the different priorities in trajectory planning when minimizing both energy consumption and travel time or energy man management in smart grid. In the centralized case, there has emerged a large body of work on multi-objective optimization to solve problems of this kind, such as the Chebyshev method, um, a user-friendly method for decision maker, different priorities um, are tried according to uh, some rules and the decision maker chooses the best solution according to the problem or the e-constraint method where one objective function is selected and the other ones are converted into constraint by setting an upper bound. The goal of such algorithm is to, is to explore the continuum of Pareto optimal solutions through different prioritization of the objective function of the problem. To the best of our knowledge, such techniques remain largely unexplored in a multi-agent contest. Further exploring this front can provide other solutions that are optimal in different senses, as well as provide, providing a wider range of operating conditions for systems based on agents' needs. Here's the problem that is solved, which is minimizing the priority sum of objective functions. Each agent has one objective function to minimize. Initially, each agent starts with an initial decision vector and its initial, initial priority vector. Each agent assigns priorities to all the agents in the network, even if they don't communicate with them. Each agent priority vector has to sum to one. We devise an update law that drives agents to a common solution by interlacing optimization steps with priority averaging steps. Also, this interlacing optimization allows agents to continuously modify their priorities based upon the task at hand. Therefore, therefore 
at each iteration, there are two steps. First, agent I updates its vector of priorities. And second, agent I updates is the, its decision vector. Here's the update law for the vector of priorities, where C is a constant between zero and one over the, max, over the maximum value of the degree matrix. H is the adjacency matrix. This means that the weight or priorities of agent I are updated based on the weight or priorities agent I communicates with. Here's the update law for the decision vector. What distinguishes our algorithm for other algorithms of this kind is that the A matrix is not doubly stochastic, but stochastic. This means that agent I must ensure that its weights sum to one, but the agents don't need, doesn't need to know what the other agent's priorities are. As I mentioned, the information exchange is weighted by agent's priorities. Alpha is the gradient step size of agent I, and D is the gradient vector of agent at X I. There are assumptions that pertains to the weights of the, the A matrix. These assumptions are largely used. However, the major differences is that, is that uh, eta A here is known for our algorithm. And also A is row stochastic. Each row of A is the vector of weights that agent I assigned to the other agents in the decision vector update. In literature, the A matrix is usually doubly stochastic. The sum of each row and column equals to one. There are some published rules to ensure the doubly stochasticity of A, but because we have uh, a matrix that is row stochastic, we have proposed a rule to ensure that A is row stochastic and that will use agent's priorities W. In line with the multi-objective concept, our algorithm uses the priority vector W to quantify the importance of information received to update X. H is the adjacency matrix, I the identity matrix, and J is the all one matrix. The proposed rule for the A matrix means that if agent I does not communicate with agent J, agent I takes agent J weight and assign it to itself. Proceeding that way allows agent I to keep the relative importance assigned to the agents that agent I communicates with. Now we will look at the convergence of the algorithm. As mentioned before, agents agree on the priorities. The priorities will converge to the average of agent's initial weights or agent's initial priorities. At the network level, we will get W bar, which consists of a matrix with the same rows. The fact that the priorities are used to compute the A matrix, we can be more specific about eta A. Usually, eta A exists, but no information is given about its value. Here, we can provide a lower bound for eta A. Lemma two says that the minimum of the agent's priorities is non-decreasing over time. Therefore, a bound for eta A can be established. Indeed, eta A is the minimum value of agent's initial priorities. Now we will look at the convergence of the decision vector update. To study its convergence over time S to K, XI updates is reformulated as follow. More details are provided in the paper for purp time purposes. We will focus only on the most important here, which is big fee. 
Big V is the product of all the A's matrices. In our algorithm, A is clearly defined, which allowed us to get these two propositions. Big V converges to W bar for, uh, for, greater, for K greater than S, and S goes to infinity, and the limit of big V is greater or equals to eta A. Concerning the gradient, gradient convergence, we obtain the following performance bound for the algorithm. So the limit for big V for S goes to the infinity and K greater than S. We have the objective function value of X hat. X hat being the average of agent's decision vector is less or equals to the objective function value of the optimal solution plus an offset. The offset is a function of the minimum of the agent's initial priorities and, and the constant K is uh, known in our algorithm. This means that agent's initial priorities influence the performance bound. This is not surprising since the weights are computed from agent initial priorities. Which is not a, nice about that is that agents have a certain control over the algorithm convergence. Here's some numerical results. For illustrative purpose, we have a team of two agents with different initial priorities and state minimizing two quadratic functions. We'll see that the solution on the parity front, the solution uh, with these initial priorities is the following here. We can see that the weights converge to the average of agent's initial weights and that the algorithm reach a value very near the optimal value. However, with our algorithm, other solutions that have been obtained by changing agent's initial priorities are also possible. All these solutions. However, if we minimize only the sum of the objective function, it's only this single element on the front. Therefore, our algorithm provides optimal solutions in different senses that can be beneficial in some application. Here, a team of 20 agents, we can see that the communication topology among agents here. And then this figure represent, present the difference of the objective function value obtained with x hat and the optimal solution in function iteration in function of the iteration k. As k increases, the difference decreases. We can see that difference goes to zero over time. This paper, as a conclusion, proposed a distributed algorithm to optimize a priority sum of convex objective function. The algorithm allows the exploration of the Pareto front of the overall objective, which has a direct influence on the agent's final results. We establish a rule to determine the weights in agent states update. The weight matrix in this paper is row stochastics, which provides a less restrictive communication compared to several related works where the matrix is doubly stochastic. And we study the convergence of the algorithm and provided explicit bounds for the transition matrix the agent state update matrix, as well as a performance, performance bound for the algorithm. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and please free to ask any question you may have. Thank you.